everyone, I'm Mommy Bambi and I have a request. I've always wanted to cook this French dish and since you're French and cook a lot of French dishes, you're the perfect person to teach me. Hey guys, everyone Yusuf here and I'm joined today by Bambi. Hi! Today is another video where we basically asked a bunch of members on the Landers Facebook page to tell us what kind of dishes they want to learn. And the reply that we got, and I think also you wanted to learn some sort of French dish yes. or French cooking. Yes. The dish is called poulet valet d'orge. Right? Okay, uh, for us uh, non-French talking people. So poulet, poulet valet, valet d'orge. Doge. Poulet Valet Doge. Perfect. Okay. So poulet is means chicken. And Valet Doge is actually a valley in the north of France, in Normandy, mm -hmm. where they're very famous for two things. That's apples and the alcohol that comes from apples, which is calvados. So we have two pans going because we're going to try to do things simultaneously mm -hmm. to cut down the cooking time dramatically. So I'm going to break down the chicken mm -hmm. while you peel the apples. So just be careful with your thumb and then just pull back. All we need want to do is kind of remove the skin. Do you cook a lot at home? I do, but I don't do the chopping or this part. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cooking page on Facebook. Oh, do you? Yes. Oh, what's it called? Happy Go Bambi. Happy Go Bambi. Yeah. It's a cool name. And what kind of food do you usually make? Whatever, whatever I find on the ref. Okay. But uh, some things like this, roast chicken nice. or nuggets. Or... And mostly Filipino food or just a bit of everything? A bit of everything. But once the prep's all done, you'll see that this is the type of food that's actually really easy to make. So it'll be apples with a brandy. Usually when you flambe something, it really helps grab the whole flavor of the dish. Mm -hmm. And then it dissipates all the alcohol that's in the brandy. So you don't have something too alcoholic. Kids can eat this. Yeah, that's actually a great, great question. When they cook with alcohol, think that it's not suitable for kids. Mm -hmm. But once you cook it down, all the alcohol actually goes away. But obviously the flavor of the alcohol might stay. Mm -hmm. So people would be like a little reluctant to serve it to their kids. Is this good enough? Yeah. And then you're just gonna do like nice little round slices like that. And then I'm gonna start off the chicken. So the chicken, really simple. We just wanna brown it. Mm -hmm. Start everything on one side. Mm -hmm. I quartered it in ways that I know it would fit basically in the pan. And then in there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take all the apples and then place them in there. A little bit of oil. Basically looking for is just caramelization mm -hmm. on the apples so the natural sugars will come out. Mm -hmm. And then on the chicken, just brown because we're not actually finishing the dish or the cooking mm -hmm. at this point. We're gonna finish it with some chicken broth and some white wine later. Um, it'll all kind of like steam together, but you just ah. wanna keep that nice crunchy exterior as well. How long have you guys been doing iceberg for? It's been for the 31st this year. So that's exactly what we were looking for, just mm -hmm. very slight browning. I'm gonna go ahead and place it here and wait. So this is where French cooking becomes interesting, a lot of changing and switching. Mm -hmm. But you keep the pan because you wanna keep that flavor that's there. The same for the chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the chicken. Five minutes per side, which cooks it almost, not even halfway, really. But just gives it a nice kind of brown color. And then, more importantly, it gives you all this kind of beautiful juice. That's really important for the dish. And now we're just gonna bring this up to full blast. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna add in the shallots. And then I'm gonna really quickly chop in some leeks as well. So this gets cooked down just a tad bit. And then on the other side, we're gonna brown a little bit more butter. So these get all sliced up. How did you learn how to chop that fast? Me? Yeah. By cutting myself a lot. Our YouTube videos. Mm -hmm watching chefs online. So there. So at least here the apple flavor is still there. So you can go ahead and mix that. And I'll add a bit more oil. And then on this side here, so I'm gonna add a little bit of the brandy. Mm -hmm. And then all you have to do is kind of wait for it to heat up. When you agitate it, it the fire will It heats up. up a little bit. Usually if you have fire, yes. But then mm -hmm. since we don't, we're gonna cheat with just a lighter. Whoa. And it just helps kind of caramelize flavor, bring out the flavor from the pan. And again, it gives you the taste of brandy without the alcohol. Mm -hmm. So once the brandy is dissipated, we're gonna go ahead and add in two more acids. Mm -hmm. So apple cider vinegar, a bit of wine. That's good to go already. Oh, okay. So here we're just waiting for that boil again. So then 
you know how you, when you cook with vinegar, mm -hmm. it can be quite aggressive yes, on the nose. Yes. It makes you cough and everything mm -hmm. like that. So by cooking it really quickly, like that it just makes it's it much easier. Yeah. Okay, so we have a nice boil going. We're gonna add the chickens back in. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add some chicken broth. So this will be really the base of the sauce. Mm. That comes to simmer. We cover it for about 15 minutes until it's cooked through, and then we finish up the sauce. Do I have to take it out? So all you have to do is take that out, right. and mm -hmm. then just chop that as finely as you can. And then while you do that, I'm gonna finish this part here. So here all I'm doing is re-adding the apples, just so that they get some of that flavor. And that's gonna finish off just for five minutes. So then some bay leaves on top of the apples as well. All right, so the chicken, all you would have to do now basically is just transfer it. So here we're just gonna pick out all the chicken, which is basically almost cooked. Remove the apples. We're gonna grab this egg yolk here. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna go ahead and actually maybe, so you can just whisk that together. And then you're gonna go ahead and pour all that in here. It smells delicious. So by this point, the egg will never curdle because it's already well mixed and integrated in the sauce. Mm -hmm. Once the sauce starts coating the pan, mm -hmm. then that's when I know it's pretty much ready. So now we're just gonna go ahead and plate everything. This looks delish. With the, I love the combination of apples, butter, and chicken. I think mm -hmm. it's so good. And then all we do is grab this. and then finish that with the mushrooms. Now you get to... Taste it? No, you get to tell us what the dish is called. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, let me try. Pole Valet Douche. Correct. <laughs> yeah, I hope I did it right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we get to taste it. Best part of the job. You like breast part? I really do enjoy the breast part, especially when it's properly cooked. As long as it, it's It actually soft. stays yeah. quiet. Nice and soft. So then, that's why the sauce is there as well. Some mushrooms. Mmm. It's rich. I like it. It's a lot of butter. It's delicious though. I like it that way. Mmm. So we have golden brown apples cooked with butter, seared chicken with calvados, brandy, white wine, some apple cider vinegar, lots of butter, and it's just extremely creamy without adding any cream. This is the type of recipe I would recommend anyone doing at home because it's actually quite easy. Yeah. And the ingredients are very easy to find at Landers. So it's the type of dish that you can really make with your family and this serve either with potatoes or with rice. I so, can't stop eating. Sorry. I know. Yeah, do the it's topping. Good. So thank you, Bambi, for joining us today. Mm, thank you for having me. It was a pleasure you. having you today. And mm -hmm. so thank you guys for watching again. And more importantly, please share this recipe with your friends if you liked it. And in the comment box below, Always make sure to drop in the type of recipes you want to see because we do read them and we do eventually make them. See you guys soon. Bye.